Hello, internet. All ten viewers in the chat, welcome to the second adventure of Lucian Flavius and Squad on um, uh, the uh, the mysterious island and all of that. Uh, and it's going to be very exciting, and it's going to be lots of dice rolling and madness and intimidating of shopkeepers. And uh, let's mm. get right to it. So joining us today, we have the same squad as last time, uh, minus two people right now, one of whom may show up. Uh, if I can just get Discord to go maximised. There we are. Um, so we have player chat. Uh, no, in-game session chat. That's what we want. Uh, we have our DM, Shiva. Round of applause for uh, Shiva. Yay. Way, <laughs> Shiva. Um, and we have the co-DM, Valk. Round of applause Hello. for Valk. Yay. <laughs> That's Valkyrie. Um, and uh, who else do we have playing? We do not have Zelda today, but we do have Ma uh, May, who I always try and say my, but it's May. We have May. Yes. We Hi. have Jack Jax, who's cunningly hidden their hey. name behind their actual character name, so I just had to remember that one. Um, we have Watcher. Um, and Hello. We, we don't have Feral Hermit, but we're hoping they might show up at some point. We will see. Um, and you have me. And I think that's everyone. Unless I've missed someone yes. out. Um, so yeah, over to you, Shiva. Take us on an adventure. Awesome. I'm just getting the, the music about to play real fast, and I think it is. Yes, it is. Okay. And let me go back into the D&D. &D. <coughs> uh, uh, uh. There we go. In-game session chat. I was like, where is it? It's okay, so as we left off before, you guys had attempted to watch over Odie, which was for the most part successful with, with a bunch of awkward screaming from the child and such. Yeah, but and you get you that. Managed, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you saved him, and you decided to let the one little girl go into the forest just to see where she goes, but unfortunately as she went into the forest she, from what you could tell, completely disappeared. So you guys are now in this forest surrounded by mist. And I believe we had, let me see who's leading the way. We have Phoenix and Frey taking the lead, with then followed by Sadeli, Lucian, um, and Dorian, I think his name is, and Rent. So let me go ahead and send that map again. Oh, if only someone had tied a rope to that girl. <laughs> yes, honestly, I don't know why you all talked me out of it. I don't- I think it was less of talking you out of it and more we just all ignored you. I think that's completely inaccurate. <laughs> I mean, you were busy writing with a child, so... Okay, it's... Boom! There we go. Oh, we have an updated version of the forest that we can't see anything of. Excellent. <laughs> exactly. Just to have it so it's at the front of the chat, but... Yeah, this is what you guys see at the moment. You can do um, perception checks, or if you want to look for anything in particular, just tell me what it is. And oh, who's here? Oh, it's just a spectator. Okay. You can um, tell me what you want to look for in particular, and I can tell how you make an investigation roll. But yeah, this is what you see so far. What do you want to do? Um, I want to make um, an investigation roll. For what? What are you looking for I, in particular? Uh, just in general? If you're doing it in general thing, then that would be perception. Investigation is if you're looking for something in particular. Usually. All right, I'll do um, perception. Okay, does anyone else want to do perception also? I'll, I'll oh, perceive. Um. Okay. So you rolled your d20 and add your perception skill from your uh, character. Let's hope I remember how to do this. So it's underscore, not dash, remember. Yes, I, I made that mistake in the music bot, and I'm like, why is it not playing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want to cast the spell for I am Ren, and I Ooh. speak with trees. Oh, that's so a really good I idea. I speak with plants. Well, you have several trees around you, so... Yeah. I know. I hope they're cooperative. Uh, okay. Okay, so let me see. <laughs> That is a two. That is okay. I think I just forget I'm in a forest. <laughs> oh, um, sorry yeah, to interrupt yeah. for one second. 
Uh, guys watching in the Twitch chat, there is a D&D &D Beyond overlay activated. So if you click or mouse around, you should find a button on your screen that gives you the stats of all our characters. And if you click oh on them, you should be able God. to bring up the character sheets, oh, yes. which is pretty cool. So just uh, have a look at that if you want to keep up with who we all are and what classes we are. Sorry, back to you. Continue. If I, if I weren't on mobile, I bet I'd really appreciate that. Okay. Yes, and that just sounded so passive aggressive. I didn't mean for it to be. <laughs> oh no, it's fine. Yeah, and continue, for continue. those who, yeah, and for the characters Frey and um, um, Ender and me and Valkyrie just talked about this, we're going to utilize them in combat. Skill checks are going to be you guys dependent because it's to make things a bit more fair. So does it look like the DMs are holding your hands? I think that'll be a bit faster as well, won't it? Yeah, it would be. Okay, so let me see. One of you got a, a two, so. Yeah, you're in a forest, and it's a very nice forest to that one. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's not. It's a horrible forest. Yeah, that's, that's, oh, actually, that's, Lucian's, nice. that's actually Lucian's conclusion with his 13. Oh, great. It's not a nice forest. It's a horrible forest. <laughs> and what's my conclusion? It's that, and you're also noticing that there are what looks like a few small footprints on the ground that lead towards the right. Ooh. I want to follow up, the up, footprints. Up ahead. Okay, so you gonna let your party know about the footprints? Oh yeah, I'm gonna tell them and then them. I'm gonna follow them. Okay, so Sadali so gestures the footprints to you guys and you see her go up forward to the right. I'm gonna go update the map real fast so you see what she's doing. Do we know what kind of footprints they are? From what Sadali saw, they look like small footprints so they could potentially be a child. Cool, like human footprints basically, not like dinosaur yeah. footprints. I would be very concerned if there are dinosaurs in, in, in the world of Skyrim. Well, dragons. I mean, I mean it, it no could be seen as a not moss, though. No, it's, it's, just, it's just a dragon skeleton with no wings. It's a dragon, everyone dies. Yay! It's just a dragon with no wings, so it looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> I mean, I think Guar would count as dinosaurs. Yes, I, I don't know. There's they're, they're something. They're adorable. I love them. <laughs> now we can just speak with the trees. Okay, so what what do you want to say with the trees? The trees will have knowledge that they can give you from the past twenty four hours. Hello, tree. How are uh, you? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, tree. I am the Lorax. I speak with the trees. I read that book way too many times yesterday. Um. Oh my gosh. Sorry, my brain is trying to wake up. Yes, but you do see Sadali's going that direction. Yes. I'm going to last 24 hours. I'm going to ask the trees if there have been any other children other than the one we've seen walking through like the forest, and if there's like, strange like strange people. I don't know. Just like, what have you seen? Ask if walking. you've seen any were ferrets. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of were ferrets, <laughs> hi bug. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. So the tree's response to anything weird is pretty much saying that well, everyone is weird. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> yes, everything's we weird to a tree. <laughs> Especially that yeah, one. But you, you, you people with your feet and your hands and moving, go away. Why don't you ever just settle down and plant roots like us? God, I wish. Yes. But they do confirm that, that a child had indeed went through here and that they have been, they saw children the other night and they warn you that there are werebears in the area. But, but they don't eh. seem to attack the children, oddly. Only the adults. Dun dun dun. dun. Hey. That's all they know. Thank There's... you so much for the cheer, sorcery. Sorry, continue the D&D. &D. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there's there's square bears. In, not in the trees, but in the forest. I would say there's square bears in the trees. <laughs> Plot twist, uh... all the trees are were bears. <laughs> They're were They're trees. like hiding little were bears. <laughs> oh, blessed like koalas. Where, where are care bears? <laughs> care bears. So the... So while you're having this conversation, Sadali does gesture she's going this direction. Are you guys gonna follow her, or are you gonna have the road go on her lonesome? I'm gonna follow I'll her. I'll go with her. Okay, Just in case, gonna... we should put a rope on her. 
You can try, but I can make no promises that she will not hit you. Yeah, I was gonna say, you, you can definitely try that, but it's, like up, it's, up to, it's up to Sedali how she responds to rope. Get me with your best shot. Da, da, da. Okay, so as you're <laughs> traveling, I'm going to reveal more map. It map. How are you guys going to be adventuring? Are you going to do it cautiously? Or are you just marching through? You're stealthing? How are you going to do this? Well, do we know the name of the little girl who we're following? No, because no, because no one asked her. <laughs> uh, well, okay. it's not like she would have responded. Well, Lucian exactly. was considering shouting her name, uh, but maybe Lucian will shout little girl. Very Hello, little girl. <laughs> Anybody I'm there? Gonna roll. I am gonna roll for something real fast. Let's see. Roll I mean, feel free to roll to shush me if you oh like. Oh my goodness! Is a thing I will not mention is perception. Barbet suddenly <laughs> comes out. I'm much older than you are. Oh, that's a high perception. Okay, well, uh, it's just to make sure. Oh, well, surprisingly, you don't hear any response, but you do hear rustling up ahead. Ooh. Don't like that. It's Joseph Russell rustling up ahead. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that's an original yeah. joke that's never been made before, ever, by anyone. <laughs> so, Dally, do you oh, play the key? Joke. That is no rustle, ruffle. Well, if no one's going to be telling Sedali if they heard something, I'm assuming Sedali's going to continue venturing forward? Yeah, if nobody tells Sedali, oh. she has no idea. I would like to tap right, on Sedali's gonna... shoulder and tell her. Okay. Do I have to roll for that? No, you just, just, just roleplay your warning Sedali that you, you hear something up ahead. Critical fail and accidentally punch her in the back of the head. <laughs> PvP ensues. So I uh, I tap Sadali on the shoulder and then I sign to her, Sadali, there's rustling up ahead. How does Sadali respond? Um. We all go into stealth well, mode. Sadali's on edge and wasn't uh, wasn't expecting it, so Lucine very narrowly avoids getting punched in the face, but she does acknowledge what he said. Marvelous. Okay. okay. So as you're venturing up, I need you guys to roll perception one more time as I move your characters really fast. Oh, I'm rolling perception. Yes, All if, of us? if you choose, if you want to, whoever is what being wants to be observant, I suggest rolling perception. Oh, magic! Oh no, Stop I did the wrong thing. Did. Sorry. I now realize it's a scary forest and proceed to freak out. <laughs> Would it be an ability check? Um, it's, yeah, it's the imp perception ability. Okay, because I keep on forgetting I get plus one because I have a cat lucky thing for Jake. I oh, I got know. a 20, dope. Oh, uh, yeah. Awesome. awesome, so let me just save the image. So as you're- Jeez, you guys uh, catching off. everything. <laughs> I see how. I find good stuff. I'm gonna be catching these hands. I noticed an interesting leaf. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, Lucian is interested in the flora, like he said many times. The flora Just look the at the happening. Fascinating, and this shade of green. Absolutely <laughs> remarkable. Like, I think Lucian, I'll keep this. The... Lucian, I think that's poison oak. <laughs> Did I just oh. close something in the wrong chat? Lucian yes, drops the leaf no, immediately no, and steps on it. <laughs> yeah, well, so I'm going to try Sydney's image again because I foolishly put it in the wrong chat. I stopped it in time. But it's loading. But as Lucian's under this tree looking at a leaf, um, the rest of you guys do notice very, uh, like, I would say it's like about a day old, like a day old pup stain of a pool of blood on the ground by a freshly not on skeleton <laughs> that Lucian somehow managed not to see. I didn't. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. So, uh, you notice uh, you're standing by something there, Lucy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. There, there's the picture there with the skeleton. Yeah. Where's the picture? I see no picture. <coughs> I put it in there. <coughs> Better be in our game session. There it is. Uh, oh, you're fine. I've been coughing too. 
tone. I wish I could zoom in on the pictures. I've not got the picture on this end. Huh. You're not getting the picture? No. Wait, does the picture have a skeleton in it? It's a very faint one. But with oh, I stripes. see. Oh, right. So it's just an update on the map, but you've put something on yeah. it. Right. I yes. see. I was looking for a picture That's of a skeleton. I I no. Okay. Cool. I, I, I am not that yeah. dedicated to draw a picture of every single thing. <laughs> I don't see a skeleton. Uh, I mean, it, I see it, it. It's fair. It's under the shadow of the tree pixels, but there is a skeleton there. I think hey, he might be dead. Hey, stop doing my wires. Oh, I see it. I thought yes. that was the branches. I was completely ignoring the giant blood stain on the map. Like, where is it? <laughs> yes. But yes. But yes, from you can tell, it looks like the blood's at least a, probably a day or so old, and that skeleton's been freshly gnawed on with big teeth marks. Um, who, who had the okay the one who got let me see the, the 19 and the 20 so that would be Rin and that would be M. so Dali so, uh, so Dali, I'll say you, you definitely smell death and you also smell what's something that smells almost musky up ahead while Rin you're starting to hear what sounds like kind of like low rumbles of growls and snarls up ahead like <laughs> up ahead so Sorry, Shiva. I, Sorry, Shiva. I missed. Sorry, I missed that. Here. Could you give us the sound again? No, <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> Roll the <D> twenty. <laughs> First rage check. I'm immune. Rats. <laughs> it sounds like it's probably about maybe five, like fifty feet away. How is so that? I just yeah, smelled it because I can't hear anything. You, yeah, but no, you smell something that smells like almost musky animal stick up ahead. You, you definitely get the smell of wild animal stink, basically. Alright. How is um, my panther nightshade reacting? Your panther? Um, you see her kind of just, the hackles on her start to form, the ear, back of her ears are going down, she's doing a really little growl, kind of staying real close to you in a protective manner. She definitely senses something up ahead. Oh, <laughs> nuggets! I forgot the quote. I, I kind of want. I kind of want to just like have Sadali shoot an arrow into the bush, but I want to get everybody else's approval before I do that. That's fine, but I'm drawing my sword first. I'm all right with that. <laughs> all right, then that's what I'm gonna have Sadali do. Okay, so you shoot an arrow into a bush. Yeah. Do I need to roll for whatever? Um, no, because it's just, it's, you're just shooting into a bush. I'll only do that if you're actually trying to aim at a person or a particular MacGuffin item. So you do that. I'm going to roll to see if these things hear you because it did not hear Lucian going, hello! Surprisingly. I'll try and be louder next time. Please <laughs> do. <laughs> okay. So you hit in the bush and you just hear one of the creatures go <laughs> and you hear a bit of a growl and you hear these footsteps starting to go towards your guys' direction or at least towards the bush. So I'm gonna go get the thing. The thing. And you hear these big, big footsteps like <laughs> <laughs> whatever it is, it's it's a big boy. Right. So I guess I just feel the vibrations or whatever. Yes. Mm. Are you guys going to stay on plain sight as the scene gets closer? What are you doing? At this point, you're hearing two sets of footsteps. Both of them got heard this thing. Well, thank um, you. <laughs> I would like to do a stealth thing. Okay. So if you're going to do anyone who wants to do stealth, I need you to do stealth checks as he seems. I have an alternative arrive. suggestion, uh, which I'd just like to field with the team. Which could be how you feel about possibly moving from this particular location at considerable speed. <laughs> so running. Ah, uh, well, that's one word for it, yes. <laughs> or at least a brisk jog. No? Okay. No takers? Quietly running. What about shift into a child? Who shifts into a child? I like what, I'm, I'm proposing this to uh, the group first. I'm not set on this, but I do okay. have a disguised self. Yes, you do. So, 
interesting plan. Shape shift into a child and see if they like let me pass through. Very sure. good idea. See, that was let's see, uh, that's Rin that's doing that, or is it Phoenix? I Next couldn't hear who was making, but I'll make sure because I know both of them have some sort of shape shifting ability. I wanted to make sure. Can, yeah, I didn't know because it's I know it's different for each DM. Could Ryan shape shift into a kid, even though it's called Beast Form? Well, to be fair, he, humans are technically monkeys, so... I think I'm a lot for this. Well, technically we're in the Skyrim verse. Are they from monkeys? Now that's I a don't know. Are they? different <laughs> rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're from something, all right? Crazy people, that's what. It yeah, I'll... come from a generation of cray-cray. Yes. I do. I will say uh, for this, for this, though, I will allow it. Okay, I'll shape shift with Ben then. So Ren and Ben. Are... Ren and Finn, are the rest of you hiding? What are you guys? I know Sedali is. Be good friends. For friends. For friends. Yep. Friend group okay. unite. So I know Sedali's stealthy. Is anyone else gonna stealth before I continue on? I wanna make sure. Lucian runs in the other direction. <laughs> not, a, not a long distance, not a long distance, but a considerable, I can see sort of just above the trees, like I'm looking at the map, and just where all yeah. our tokens are gathered, there's like a couple of what look like rocks, or bushes, or something. Sure. Uh, yeah, Lucian runs away from the source of the noise hide and hides behind one of those. Okay, My I'll goodness. put you behind one of the little old ruins by the, by the big tree then. Oh, I forgot I already rolled, so I accidentally rolled twice, so whichever one of those you want to use, I guess. Well, to be fair, that was beforehand. This is now with the new action of them doing stuff. So I'll, I'll take your bigger roll. I'll, Don't. I'll be good. So, Sadali, so you are by you. You are you are the knight. You have disappeared by wherever you decide you wanted to hide at. But yeah, you, you are gone. So, am I, am I rolling for my runaway tree hide thing as well? Um, if you're if you're actually hiding for sure, then yes, you have to roll stealth. I'm gonna run and, and duck gonna... behind the thing. Um, yeah, so... and um, Valkyrie, if you can roll for. Endrin and Frey, just so we can have them hit hidden. That would be probably a pretty good idea. I'll hide behind a tree. Sure thing. They're just kind of like, okay, following this, this this interesting plan. Are they rolling stealth? Yes, yeah, stealth. Okay, so Frey. <laughs> Gosh, dang, this cough. Wow, that's actually pretty good, Lucian. I am the knight. That's what happens when survival instincts kick in. Should. The friend group, yeah, but that's what we call it for now. <laughs> Should we roll deception for our child forms? Because you mentioned that to me, I think that's a good idea, so go ahead. Yay, I should get advantage because I'm amazing. <laughs> I'm just kidding, no. The first sneak again. <laughs> okay, well, Frey is not hiding. Yes, but I'll update this map real fast, so... Giving at roof exposing what more is... since the two quote unquote children are exploring. Right. Finn is just gotta... staring in intimate light. Or who, who, who's trying to oh. hide me? Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. I forget how to be titled. <laughs> I, I do not have. <laughs> you are a oh. grown, grumpy man. <laughs> I'm like a, a child, but I'm like, ugh. So Shiva, I have um, Shiva, I have Frey's character sheet up, but I do not have the other missing I persons. I think I think I sent it to you via oh, yeah. the uh, eight PMs. Okay. Well, I, I have a question. Uh, yes, ben, are you I... a druid? No. Are you a druid? Are you? I'm a I'm a fighter, but I have spells. <laughs> okay, because I was wondering. Spider. Yeah, cause I was wondering, hmm. did you- are you using polymorph for actual screen? No, disguise self. Disguise self? Okay, sorry. My brain just doesn't want to work today. Yeah, so hmm. as this, um, is loading, cause it likes to take its time on Discord, you- you-, you as you two go up ahead, the rest of you see these giant werebears start to appear from the fog and- Oh my goodness. Growling, look around, and they see, see- they see the two children, and at first they look- they look a bit like- convinced, but then as they lean closer and sniff at one of them, they immediately start to growl and just bare their teeth. They are very suspicious. Something's off with, with these children, and they're not quite sure why, but they... yeah. 
How does the children respond? I burst into tears. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll deception one more. Action or performance? Actually, it's performance. That would be a good idea. Bad at both of those, so I don't know why I really yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, thank you for uh, pointing that out to make your life harder for me, for you. <laughs> yes. Woo! Alright, that's not that bad. I- I don't- I'm... Uh... I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> yeah, you can roll performance too. Go for it. Oh, uh, yay! Stairs real fast. I hope they lose. Sorry to interrupt again, guys. Sorcery, thank you so much for that. That's that's really incredible, incredibly genuine. Incredibly generous. Um, <laughs> I really don't know what to say, but thank you so much. That's okay. really kind. Uh, continue, sorry. So, so as they were originally kind of very suspicious of Finnick, as soon as she starts bursting, she has to kind of back off like, oh, okay. Like, surprise snort. <laughs> and they kind of back off from you, and they, they're still slightly suspicious of Ren, but they're not as threatening now. I'm, I'm they're hiding more so behind Ren. very, very confused at this point. Like, did we attack? Did we not? I'm hiding behind Ben. I'm I'm out, out of interest, does Charm Person work on werebears, or are they considered beasts? I think we see. Let me check their thing, what it says here. Technically, haha. They are considered humanoids, so... There you go. So we could do try. that if this goes pear-shaped. Yeah, and I will warn though, if you fail, they will immediately know what you tried to do. <laughs> Marvelous. Yes. <laughs> most self -block get left, so I'm a child or I'm doing nothing else. <laughs> yes, so at the moment the werebears are attacking these children, but they seem to be expecting you two to keep going down the path. They are assuming uh -huh. that you are under the trance or something. They, they're expecting you to do I something. I guess <laughs> we just keep following the path. I think we'd better let them go. Just keep moving, just keep moving, just yeah, keep your friend's moving, got a duck. I don't think we can follow, really, without giving you away. Hey, I have a sword. Dude, I mean, anyone with else... Dolly's role, she probably could. Does she, anyone she else have do... any way of um, communicating back? For instance, I have send message or whatever. Uh, yes, your said message is good to believe up to 120. Feet, yeah, so you but can't that's presumably only one way, right? I think they're allowed to reply to you back if I remember how send message works. Oh, excellent. The good. person you sent it to are able to respond back. Let me double check that. I could be thinking something else, but I'm pretty sure I can. <laughs> Excuse me. So it's, um, message the cantrip, right? Yes. Yes. Oh. Okay, as we're going, can I drop something? Sure. Okay, I want to drop my wand of secrets <laughs> for you guys to use. Okay. okay. All right, well, since Sadali's role was really good, I want her to follow Ren Fan. So just to you be clear what? with the message spell? The message spell says that the target and only the target can hear the message within range of 120 feet, and they can reply in a whisper that only you can hear. So she can speak. They can awesome. speak back, but they would have to whisper. So there's a chance others can hear it. Or no, technically only you can hear it. Cool. Beautiful. Yes. What would Sadali do then? Scream. What does Sadali do? No, I mean I in think... that situation since she's mute. I would, I would say maybe she can respond maybe telepathically just to make it work because that, that's a very big candy cap for poor Sadali. If we want to keep it stylistic, if we want to keep it kind of it to style rather than telepathic, we could have it where if she signs with one hand, then whoever is receiving the message back, like their hand signs it in turn or something like that. Oh, that's pretty oh, cool. fun. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I like that. I like that too. Yeah. I like that. So yes, these, these two quote unquote children are kind of just being herded by the werebears right now. Scary. Have, and have, I'm following them. them. Okay, so. Because my role was ridiculous. Yes. The thing you uh, drop. I don't think I'm. Still something you will have to roll again as you follow. 
Yeah, Aww. if you're going to, yeah, 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 if you're going to move right now, you're going to have to roll because they are still facing outwards to you guys. <coughs> um, I, I don't want to follow. I want to head round, head north instead. Uh, because... Want to head north by, right. by your lonesome? Okay. I want to try and find um... a way around the back, but... I can't just follow sure. the werebears because Lucian is not good enough at stealth for that. I I am I will Awful. though because I am I am a person who like many people suffer. I'm going to have you roll stealth away because for all you <laughs> okay. could accidentally step on a twig for all we know fair, or trip. Uh, all right, so I still did pretty good. Uh, yes, you're you're still Gucci. They're passive. You beat their passive perception. Well, that was a disaster. Oh, hi. <laughs> I jinxed it. So yeah, Lucy, you're kind of like, Ugh, like trying to get away, and you stumble and you trip, and you, there's an audible oof, oof, ow. And the werebears stop and look towards your direction. <laughs> they haven't spotted you yet, but they're now very aware there might be someone else here, and they're starting to look around. Caca, caca, caca. Roll for I... performance if you're going to be doing that. Please that, do. I, 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 that might be a deception, actually. That is true. Okay, deception. Deception. Right. I, uh, before I forgot to mention this, but I had nightshade oh, no, stay sorry, like behind, me. and so she's just gonna follow from behind, slowly. Uh, okay. Oh. Did I pull it off? You are a bird. I <laughs> <laughs> kind of look around and then you hear it and they're like, mm, looking kind of annoyed and they go back to following the children. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy and Flavi is an expert bird caller. <laughs> <laughs> next, next Lucian update. Every time you get into the spot between not seen and completely Lucy. seen, Lucian just starts calling. All that time at the Bird Society at the Arcane University really paid off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so uh, Finnick did drop her wand. Does, um, Sedali, do you choose to pick up the, the wand or no? Since you are the one actually actively moving to follow them. I mean, I guess I will, but Sedali would have no idea how to use it. Yeah, she'll just be like, okay, whatever picks it up. Okay, it's useful. For a Good creature. Ma, I found a stick. <laughs> I think Sedali would know that, okay, this is a wand, I have no idea what to use it, but picks it up. I mean, she could always give it to one of the more arcane and tuned individuals. Okay, I'm uploading this map again. Tree picks up wand. Oh gosh, every <laughs> plot twist. The tree gets... the trees are alive in a way you never thought possible. Tree gets revenge for its dead, you know, member. So yes, I just so now you I imagine look over the... your shoulder. Yeah, sorry. I was gonna so say I imagine the one you're hiding. Are... Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, super fast. I was just gonna say, I think the I imagine the trees are a bit like the statues in Salvengard. They just kind of watch wherever you go. That's fun. Slightly That's imagery. So slightly. <laughs> Fear dot so, JPEG. Sadal. Yes. So Sadal, you pick up the one, kind of pocket it, and you look over your shoulder. The other um, two people are still in hiding, watching what you do to see if you'll need backup. And then you see Lucian just go in the other direction, going kaka, kaka. <laughs> oh, sorry. I did. Um. So uh, I did mean to sort of go round to the right, so sort of hugging the tree line. Oh, so I sort of apologize. up, up on, on the left hand side of that big green tree, but just so I'm trying okay, to follow them, but by going round the back to try and find a back entrance to whatever cops of trees they're in. Okay, I'll fix that. No problem. You, you guys did not see what was up there at no, all. No, I, I didn't see anything. An erase that from your brain. That's I erased. Totally I see nothing. So I'm gonna. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll delete this. You guys saw. You guys saw nothing. So you're go you're going up then instead of that way. So that, <coughs> but you start to see Lucian through the mist. You stop in time. You you see a sheer drop. Who me? Yes. <laughs> I see a sheer you're drop. Forward. Yes. Floating uh, up, but you see a sheer drop. It looks like to be part of a ravine within the mist that you can see so far. Gosh. Yeah. Uh, well, obviously, I don't. It seems to be I'd... continuing either. It seems to be continuing both either direction, left and right. It's it's still uploading, but yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I don't continue into the ravine. Um. Uh, can I follow it round to the left to where you originally put me? Then. You can if you want. Sure. I'll. I'll if I can't. Uploading. I'll move you and up, update that too. If I can't see, <laughs> well, you know, if I can't, if there's no obvious way across. 
then um then, then yeah, just jump. Not you, much you, point. Yeah, you're far enough away from those were bears. I'm not gonna make you um, roll stealth again at this point because they are convinced that you are a bird. That's right kind. Oh well, if I'm a bird, I'll fly across. <laughs> yes, Lucien, go ahead and jump off the cliff. I promise nothing bad. Oh, will sorry, sorry. Okay, I can now see the map, and it looks like there is a path round to the right. The right. Sorry, oh, to mean... keep, sorry to keep changing my mind about directions. I didn't because I didn't see the map. I want oh, to yeah, try so and follow. I so I want oh, to yeah, go. So I, I assumed. I haven't the... saved it right. Yeah. Yeah, I assumed I was blocked by the tree or whatever, and ha would have to go left. But no, okay. If there is a route round to the right. I would like oh, yeah, to go I just in say, that Yeah, what I meant was you see the ravine and yeah. it seems to stretch on either side, but you can still go, you know, a certain way, just, you know, within reason, obviously, cool. to avoid yeah. solid. Or since you're a bird, just go into the tree. Yes, tur turn your little fur cloak into wings and fly across. Lucian roosts. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I can fly. So let me just save this, update it. So there we go. So are the two quote unquote children also going to continue traveling? I'm just going to keep on going. Okay. Till so. the bears disapprove. Yes, I'm playing. This image is saved. Hopefully, it hasn't saved. You better have saved. Yes, you have. Okay. So I'm going to send this again. And I'm going to move. When while that's uploading, I'm going to move these children. Um, Val Valkyrie, um, at this point, um, once, if once the dolly moves again, not yet, but once the dolly moves again, I do want you to roll for Endrel and Frey for stealth, because I'm, I'm going with the idea they're going to follow the dolly from, from afar in case she needs backup, if something bad cool. happens. Cool. I think that's something so, they would do. Yep. Yes. Let me know when you want me to do that. Yep, so yeah. I'm just move the children real fast, quote unquote children. Do, do, do. At this point, they're getting, they're coming close to what looks like a little pond. Do, 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 do. Update this again. Do and Lucy, and as you're continuing to follow, you do see the three beans still follows, goes along with you. It still extends, as you can tell, but you can still follow from that angle, <laughs> which is actually kind of smart. Well, you know, I, I have I have been uh, at, at various educational institutions in Cyrodiil, so uh, yes, uh, considered <laughs> to be possibly smart. You, you, you've mastered the ways of do not die, basically. Oh, I have definitely not mastered that. <laughs> well, I mean, you're still alive now, so I would say you're at least intermediate. <laughs> Okay, the next image is uploading, but I will say again that the children, quote unquote children, are going down and they are starting to appear by a pond and the werebears are slowly following. They seem almost like they're escorting them almost. Almost like trying to keep them safe in the forest, which is kind of interesting. Curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> I'm so sorry for the cough. Ugh. That's fine. Yeah, I you just can't help you're good. I'm gonna say as say what? a verb a verbal disclaimer that I will not be responsible for the bad rolls of your peers. <laughs> <laughs> I've rolled poorly each time. Ooh, new map. Yeah, so there's where they are going. Sadali, do you are you gonna see where you are or are you gonna still follow? I'm still following. Okay, yeah, we'll have, if you're gonna still move, I want you to roll stealth again. I'll move you behind that, that big rock. Are you okay with that? Yeah. And at this point, Valkyrie, I want you to roll stealth for um, the other two then, because Sadali's I... far enough at that point they would probably follow. Yep, I just did. Frey got okay. a 7, and Andrin got a 10. Oof! <laughs> Somehow the person with 0 to their stealth oh, is still here. Oh, I got an here. 11! Oof! <laughs> Let me double check the wear bear's passive perception. 17! Oh boy! Oh. What can go wrong? Yeah, oh yeah, Andrian wears like chainmail armor, so he rolls with disadvantage with stealth. So he probably the bear fuckers clink, 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 and Freight trying to quiet him down. And now you're probably <laughs> looking around like, what are you guys doing? You actually yeah. step on a twig at oh. that point. 
Isn't Frey's uh, favorite terrain forest? That is true, I think. Let me double check. Yes, it is. Um, Real fast, roll to see if Frey can save herself one more time, Valkyrie. Thank you for reminding me. I only remember because in my other D&D campaign, Addy's a ranger, and it's so helpful for those yes, favorite so terrains. Yes, give, give her one more shot. Nope. 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 <laughs> Verbal disclaimer! No. Verbal disclaimer! <laughs> Yeah, Lucine, you probably hear hear this that happening to your priorities and your friends might start to get in trouble pretty soon because the Weather Bears now are turning around in their de- general direction and they have definitely for sure spotted Right. <laughs> Adrian and Frey. So Dolly, you're behind a rock, but they did hear the snap of the twigs and they're aware that there's at least three people here. They just haven't seen you quite yet, because you're behind a rock. How far right, what is the can scale? I of... Shoot an arrow at a werebear. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, uh, okay, roll attack. Wait, wait, wait. Can I can I send a message to tell you not to do that? Okay. <laughs> 5, 10, 15. Yeah, you're within 120 feet. Yeah, you probably see that Sadali is behind a rock ready to shoot an arrow as yeah, these bears are now starting to be aware of everyone. I want to attempt to charm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, but obviously I don't want Sadali to shoot an arrow because uh, that's going to rather blow my chances at uh, charming. Um, okay, so... Yep, okay. go ahead and do that. What, what do I, I do I'm to do that? To... Let me see here. How does casting a spell work in D&D? Yeah, so do you it. just say that you it, do it? it? it, it it's, yeah, you say you do it, and then you role play. If it's for a message, you just role play out what you're saying to Sadali with your spell. Okay, Sadali, don't shoot! I'm going to try and charm them. <laughs> Sadali is respond? less than impressed, but doesn't shoot, but still has her arrow ready. Okay. I'm going to cast a cantrip. What cantrip? I'm going to cast Druid Craft, and okay. I'm going to think think of a small animal. I don't know. Mouse? Uh, no, like something to catch the werebear's attention. Uh-huh. A cat. I'm going to do a cat meow. <laughs> a cat meow. I don't know. I don't know. Or ooh, I don't know. Ah. Or you could do like a wolf. That would wolves. count as a small creature, right-ish? Uh, wolves are medium size. Uh, yeah, they're medium what? size. What about a raccoon? Those things sound terrifying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm, raccoon. I'm gonna do a raccoon, and I'm gonna make it like sound like it's in front of us two kids, and I'm gonna scream. Okay, in that case, Valkyrie, would you say that would be deception or performance since she's trying to act like she's about to get attacked by a wild animal? Let's see. Cause that's like a mixture of both, almost. I'm trying to figure out what's going to be. Um, let's say deception, since it's purposely misleading. Yeah. Okay. So you do that while Lucian does his, I guess, spell and tell us how he's going to do this. Okay. Also, I just looked it up. Uh, <coughs> raccoons count as tiny beasts, so I'm just going to assume you're a really big raccoon. Like well, a really I mean, fat one. can be definitely dangerous towards children. They well, I'm just, like, making the sound, so who knows? <laughs> yes, so definitely do deception. Semi. I'm gonna roll for the wear bears real fast. Hi, bud. Roll d20 plus three. Oh. One doesn't. Okay, that, that that's one of them. Let's check the other one because there are two of them. Roll d20 plus three. It might help if I put spaces in the command. Jeez. Roll <laughs> d. Why isn't it working? Oh. Uh yeah. Both both um. Both of them kind of look at like a little bit to check on you, then they just kind of like Ugh, and go back to. Up here, they don't seem like they don't deem that as a big as a big of a threat as these other people at the moment. They both got either matched yours or were over it. I guess like raccoons are scary ish. Uh, They're adorable. That, I don't that, like that, the people that, hands. That's a though. snack to them. So now it's up to Lucian then. Hey, Lucian. Yeah, I'd like to try and charm uh, is... these lovely creatures with okay. my powers of persuasion. Okay, so I need you, like you then to click on your charm spell and tell me the DC. 
for that. Uh, are there, there are multiple versions of the charm spell. There's a first level version and a second level version. I guess I would need the second level to charm both of them. I believe so, yes. Or there's a third yep. level version, but there's no difference apart from an extra target, right? Yeah, from yeah. what I understand. Okay, uh, so I click on it. And... Yes, that means you use a spell slot, and then I need you to tell me what the DC for that is. If you look at um, it... the list on your spell thing, I'll tell you. It says Wiz 15. Okay, that means I have to either match or beat a 15 to see if it resists. So where... No, do not type roll wear bear. Gosh dang it. D20. Plus three for one of them. Oh, that that one is charmed. Let's try the other one now. Wear bear. D20. Wear roll. D20 plus three. Okay, one of them is charmed and the other one is not. So you got one of them. So what? you just the other one of them is favorable towards you and will probably listen to you. Right, but the other one won't. Well, the other one looks like it's ready to eat you. Okay, All that's right. that's a distressing turn of affairs. Um, so, tell them to well, fight. Can I convince one to I fight the go. other? Yes, you can. So, that one's charmed underneath you. Oh, you, you first. Sorry about three. No, it's okay. I was just gonna say, so charm person. Um, one of them treats you as a good friend. Right. The other yes. one is aware that there is that a magic has appeared. Um, I would actually say, if you don't mind rolling a stealth check. To see if the other werewolf figured out it came from you. Yeah, sure. Yes. Uh, it does not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, werebear one is the one that got um, charmed, because that's the one I rolled for first. So, whoever the choose the one who is. Plus... Uh, uh, yeah. uh, what is it? Stealth <coughs> two. There you go. It didn't work because I did it in capitals. It, it, does not, it, cannot, it, it cannot handle aggressive commands. Like, whoa, calm there down. There we go. Its passive perception is 17, so yeah, it immediately jerked its head towards your direction, and it looks pissed. Okay. Uh, so one of them looks really happy to see you. Yes, yeah, the other one, looks, if, 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 it, if it was a dog, it would probably be wagging its tail right now. Hello there, Mr. Werebear. There's a good, a good chap. Um, I don't suppose you wouldn't mind lending me a little bit of assistance with your friend there. Uh, possibly? Just, uh, just anything you can do to prevent me being, uh, eaten would be splendid. <laughs> Okay, he's definitely going to be doing that the way. Give him a bear hug. Winning <laughs> smile. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, but, um, Valkyrie, I'm going to send you the stats for the other bear roll fast number two, since we can, I guess, contend with each other. Here you go in DM chat. Marvelous. So, what, that Marvelous. bear one's going to try to grapple him, <laughs> since he is was originally a, a comrade. Roll so he's going to try so. and grapple his buddy. Yeah, so it'll be a, a battle of strength. So strength throw, which is plus four for both of them. Okay. <laughs> this is great. Oh, wow. What, 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 wow? Don't just Go say on. wow. What happened? <laughs> where bear one definitely puts where bear two into a bear hug. Which was where, what, which was one and which was two? That's a good um, one. It, sh it should be mentioned on the, um, map but the one that you charmed is the number one and he had he definitely has his friend into a bear hug and that guy is not ha happy and very confused splendid yeah you you charmed the one who's got more muscles, got more muscles. excellent okay like i want to walk up map. to the non-charmed one yeah and i want to put my hand out and summon my sword through it <laughs> <laughs> I think Val Valkyrie, would that count as critical damage since he's been restrained? So And I'll shoot an arrow at the bear. <laughs> so to, to clarify a few things. First off, Joseph has or Lucian has the charmed bear charm for an hour. But if his ally is attacked, that charm is lost. <laughs> yes. Right. So you can, you can attack and you can I would say I would say that was critical damage. But just know that the charm effect would be lost in doing so. Yeah, I would assume oh, so that the one who's doing it- Do we just want to watch them, like, fight it out, or...? Well, mm. it's up to you. The one who's doing the sword thing might, might likely not be aware of this. So Lucian can choose to maybe warn, warn his friend when they see him about to do it. 
There's uh, nothing. You you obviously know this because you 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 just fell. Well, yeah. Lucian did walk up and say hello, and I'm pretty sure everyone saw that. Yes. Yes. So yes, I, I'm about to update the map to show him he's moving. Right, I'll hold it off for now. But I definitely so want to summon my sword through someone today. <laughs> <laughs> Please not me. Fine, don't worry. <laughs> you guys, worry. you're fine. And of course, the map's taking its time. But um, yeah, basically, the two wear bears are in a a battle of Panda hugs hug. right now. Very distracted with uh -huh. each other. Panda hug. What one is. Not not so happy about it while well, the other one's just do, doing what, what his new best friend said to do. <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah, that's happening right now. What what are the rest of you gonna do now that this is happening? <laughs> Once this picture updates now. Yay! Finally. You see they're hugging. Aww. While the other one's trying desperately to push him away, like, no! I mean, we could seize this opportunity to all run away. It'll only last oh. an hour, though, and then we have to deal with it again. How long is an hour in this game? Like, what's the so time scale? One round? Every round is like six seconds. <laughs> if you were in a battle round. So, an hour was quite yeah. a long time. Yeah, like, you guys would probably be on the, the other side of the uh, forest by then if you decide to just keep going. Because it would be useful to have a werebear friend to sort of persuade any other werebears on the way that we're actually good and to let us in. Yeah. Could be, yeah. But Sweet. as you guys know so far, the, the, these bears were expecting these children to follow this path, so you know at the very least, it seems like the children have been led this way before. Right. Um, I guess we'll still follow the path then. Oh boy. <laughs> yes, that's accurate. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. I was prepared for this to be an epic battle, and nope, it exists, and I greatly approve. <laughs> this is wonderful. Pass this run, D&D. &D. Yep. Hey, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. That just means you save all your healing stuff for the future. Just... So I'm just gonna have the two... Whoops, are you first? Uh... Uh, anyway, so I'm wise. Two... Say what? Nothing. Carry on. Okay, so the two "quote unquote" children are going up ahead now. Probably a bit confused. Probably also a bit amused by the situation. Like, okay, this is a thing. <laughs> so the rest of you is just, guys is gonna follow them then. Wait, sorry. I'm. So what happened to the uh, the werebears who were fighting? They are both. They are currently distracted right now. Yeah. So, so are we just gonna crack on have, past them then? You you can you can at uh, this point that the other guy he okay, basically, the one you charmed rolled twenty four. The other one rolled six. He's gonna be stuck for a little bit. So yes, you guys can just keep on going. Cool. <laughs> that uh, werebear got a nap twenty. <laughs> yeah. Is everyone down with that, or do we want to do the sword summoning fight thing? Uh, okay, but then we'll have two werebears off. to fight, we'll whereas now ahead. we have no werebears to fight. Yes. So, if that's good, I'll just move you guys along then. Oh, uh, yeah. Move along. The one that's pinned yeah, is like, what's wrong with you? And the other one is like, he's friend. Stay down. <laughs> yes, uh, you, you're definitely hearing this argument of growling and roaring with the wrestling happening. <laughs> <laughs> Frey, where are you on my map? There you are. So, do 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 do. Update this again. So we're gonna keep you guys going. That that was great though. That 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 highly. Hi, bug. Yes, bear hug, cause they care. <laughs> so do do do. Continuing down the path. Double checking. Okay. So yes, are you two? Are you two children gonna continue to follow the path? Just double check. Yes. Okay. okay, then I'll just continue to where that path leads. Friend squad. Yes, friend squad. Yes, two children just holding hands like buddy system. Wait a <laughs> It looks kind of adorable. Then you remember, oh yeah, these are two people pretending to be children. So on me. I apologize. I'm just updating right. the location, so I'm not doing it a little step by step, so... But yeah, as you guys are walking away, you, the, the, the arguments and roars of the bears are getting fainter and fainter until 
<laughs> so you almost don't hear it at all. That's just great. So at this point, you come up to there, say this again. Yeah. Path, um, Sadali. Yes. yes. Sadali. Um, that wand you found. If you don't want to use it because you don't know what it is, you can either like, give it back to me <laughs> or look at Lucian because he, he knows spell stuff. Um, I guess I'll give it to Lucian because I feel like it'd be slightly threatening for there to be a kid holding a wand. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, there you go. So Sedali walks up to you and gives you the wand. And I, I would say because you're high in Arcana knowledge, you know what this wand is. Hey, hold on, I'm just gonna send the stuff in again. Here, carry so this. Can... Yeah, um, type, if you can, type the item in the in-game session chat. That way, Joseph could add it to his inventory for now. <laughs> or that works too. Okay. That perfectly yeah. works too. Wand of oh, strength. yeah. So it's Wand of Secrets. Oh, holy. And I apologize, this, this map decided, you know what, I'm I'm going to take my time in loading because I can. To heck with anyone who wants me to speed up. But at this point, I'll just describe it. Um, the path is starting to end to what looks like some mound of some sort. Um, I'll say realistically i think lucy because you traveled with the dragonborn enough you know what this this scene is what is it as a dragon burial mound Ooh. this so is a like dragon that. burial mound yes once it uploads faster please thank you gosh but the past seems to end there, from what you could tell. But yeah, for at the very least, you, Lucian, can, if you're his friends, knows that ancient Nords were definitely on this island at one point, because there's mm. the dragon burial mound. Fascinating, but luckily, <laughs> still buried, which is always a yeah, good so sign. It, yeah, it looks like it has not been disturbed in a very long time. And no. um, so yeah, from there it looks like there's nowhere seemingly to go. You can guys can, if you want to choose to, roll perception to see where else these children could have possibly gone. Because you highly doubt they all disappeared on top of a, of a burial mound, or maybe you do think that. Who knows? Hmm. Let's. Uh, I'll roll perception. Sure. Sure. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Brian's just not feeling it today. He's like, "Ooh, dragon mound, butterfly." Yeah, that, that's exactly what happens. It, while you're still in the kids, so you say this in a kid voice. Butterfly! <laughs> okay, anyone else from one? Just want to make sure? Yeah, I am. Oh, Hang on. on. I okay, good. So I have to grab that real quick. Okay, Fanfanic rolled good too. That's great. Arcana! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just going to wait for. So Dali's roll real fast. Um, what is this perception? Perception. Just to try to figure out. Okay, if children aren't here, where are they then? Uh, they're eaten by a dragon, obviously. Plot twist: all the wind flew away. <laughs> <laughs> so the rest of you, like Ren, said she's like butterfly looking at the butterfly. Unless you're kind of looking around, kind of confused, like where, where could they have gone? Um, Finnick, you know, up ahead. You look up ahead. I'm gonna reveal this more. You look like what appears to be up, up above towards that ravine to be a makeshift bridge from a fallen tree, and you do see it, little footprints have indeed climbed on that at one point. Ah, a bridge. I, I love that. <laughs> I just love how you guys are staying as children and you're saying it's these little children voice <laughs> cracks me up. A bridge! I know. It's, 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 it's funny because I imagine Ren about to choose the butterfly and Fen's just like, No! Bridge! Have to what? Yes. I'm getting some I'm serious sure. Babette vibes over here. It's been quite a boon looking like a child. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like to but imagine Butterfly! No, no, I children, come along, I let's keep focus. Children because it's fun. We can play with the butterflies it's after we've funny. solved the mystery. <coughs> What's up, <coughs> so mystery, mister? I want to catch a butterfly. 
two butterfly wings of pain. <laughs> Fred cries, I need a butterfly, a butterfly. <laughs> You're not an actual child. Stop. <laughs> I can believe I'm a child. <laughs> Yes, so, yes, while this map is loading, you are, the, 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 and you're able to conclude that the children likely crossed this bridge, so you guys can choose if you want to cross over the makeshift bridge or not. Sure. I'm afraid. I will. As it's, as it's uploading. Okay. I'm going to have you guys... Valkyrie, would you say it's athletic check or acrobatics to stay balanced on a log? Acrobatics. Yeah, so because I it's a balancing thing. Sure. Yes. Sad, way better at athletics. <laughs> and then the entire party well, fell into the ravine than... and were killed. The end. Don't worry, if you Thank you all for I watching. Don't really forget to like and subscribe. So, bye, guys. Well, don't also, worry. The way I. Wow. The way I do things, so if you do manage to slip, you get a chance to rebalance yourself or catch yourself if you do indeed fall. So, and we just keep having here. progressively more and more dice rolls until we survive, right? <laughs> <laughs> Slightly higher DCs, I guess. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Lucian runs Rainbow. along the middle of the bridge and does a flip. <laughs> <laughs> I know that twenties only count really in battles, but I'll say because you got that twenty, that um, with with uh, what, what you can choose what, which one you catch. But you notice one of your friends are starting to wobble, and you can help ca rebalance them real fast. Which one do you want to help, Rin or Sedali? Uh, who's got the uh, lowest I'm gonna say Rin because I'm a child right now, and I can probably lift Rin easily. Oh, that's a so don't like Sedali. <laughs> I will say if you also change so that you're crossing like on all fours, maybe you can get an advantage on your roll. Mm. Rather than just like running across at lightning speed and hoping for the best. Sorry, so who's doing this roll? Is this uh this is Jack Jack. No, I'm saying Jack. No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying because you rolled an at 20, I'm letting you choose who you're going to help succeed in their role, basically. Oh, me? The ones that failed. Yes, because you rolled an at 20. I'm oh, you, I see, right. I'm okay. you, yeah. yeah, I'm letting you basically, because you rolled so good, it's like you can help help a friend, basically. Yeah, sure. Um, In that case, I'm going to help uh, uh, whoever's the smallest and the most likely to actually be able to help. Um, <laughs> so, so, Ren... Yeah, I, I save, uh, and also Ren's got a lower roll, so I guess that makes them falling more? I don't know. Um, oh, yes. no, but, um, yeah, um, yeah, so, then it means, Sindali, you have to roll your acrobatic save to see if you catch yourself on your own, then, with no help. Um, F. All right. Do, 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 do. So, Ren manages to rebalance himself, thanks to Lucian grabbing her shoulder to keep them balanced. Careful there, Ren. Butterfly. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, that's I accidentally put eighty-seven and not just seven. <laughs> uh, that's the backflip over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you're done. But that wasn't that one. <laughs> I'm gonna let you re-roll though because okay. that was ridiculous. <laughs> that was <laughs> great. <laughs> You managed to get, catch yourself and rebalance, and um, Valkyrie, um, yeah, we'll make things easy. We're going to have Whoa, the other guys Stevie, follow. what are you doing? Okay, so... Sorry, say that. Okay, so I'm going to update this map one more time with you guys. Oh, I was I was considering having the other, um, quote-unquote, players roll, but just to make things fast, we're going to have them succeed with, with some difficulty, but they succeed. Awesome. So we're not just this rolling not all day. Cat food's tasty, don't you know? Yeah, but then she gets like diarrhea, and it's not fun because my Oof. goodness, that is... have you ever? No, you do not want to clean up that. Been so there's a lovely that. image for everyone on the stream. Hope you all enjoyed that. <laughs> I, I hope no one was drinking chocolate milk or anything. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure Mike was. So. <laughs> do tune in again for more of this wonderful content. <laughs> <laughs> It's not my fault. Like, what the heck is this? Slightly We're opposite of ASMR. Server. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so you okay. guys successfully crossed...
probably cool. naturally take your time because why not? But you cross the bridge and you see more mist, but you do see the footprints are going up ahead of you. Well, let's follow them then. Following the leader, the leader, the leader. Did Demetrius yeah, stop playing? Yeah, um, I follow them. I'm gonna make sure Demetrius didn't stop playing. Please. My mom is so evil. Why? There we go, okay. She so tried to take uploading. pancakes away from me. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna get happen. my pancakes. So I'm, I'm sorry, this image is taking forever. As more of the map is being reviewed, it's taking slower and slower to upload. Okay, I'm 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 just gonna start scolding Ren. I'm gonna be like, "All right, we have to stay focused. What what stuff we do today? Come on, I'm a child. You're not an actual child. <laughs> You're really playing it up there, Ren. <laughs> like you." You don't need to roll performance for us. We know you're not a child. But I still want to catch the butterfly. It's so pretty. <laughs> my job. <laughs> oh my god, let's do I still have this? I have a I have an emoji of Ren doing a puppy face and it's so cute. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this image is uploaded. There we go. Fine. Like, yeah, we've got okay, the picture. So there we go. So you guys are choosing to <coughs> I am so sorry. You guys are still continuing choosing to go up. So then, I'm trying to think of something here. Did you not plan okay. this bit of the map? Oh, 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 no, no. I had this part planned. I'm just there. There is something that's a potential thing. I'm not gonna say. I'm trying to determine if it's gonna affect Ren and Finn because even though they're disguised as children. They're technically not children, so I'm trying to figure out if this thing would recognize that. Well, if you think about it, if wild beast or beast form, whatever the is called, is you. So, in a sense, Ren is in beast form, and while he still has the mentality of an adult of how he is, he's physically a child. So, if you want to take that into consideration, but then again, he also does take the stats of whatever animal he takes. So he could have the sense of a child. Who knows? It's just straight up an illusion. Yeah. Yeah, that's very true. So if that's the case, then because you guys pointed out, I want all of you to make wisdom saves for something. All of us, or all just them? Um... Oh, okay. All of you. All of you. Oh God, I don't. I have low wisdom. Have Wait, how do I do a wisdom save? You roll a d20, and then on your box that shows your wisdom saving throws on your character sheet, you add the number. I definitely didn't win. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> you get up ahead. They look like children, but they smell like puberty. <laughs> oh. 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 Sorry to me. Oh. Oh. Does Does anyone roll? Okay, okay Ren did. Okay. Does anyone else see? Uh. Wait, how come Sadly got negative one wisdom? Because she, she her got wisdom's one, low. Yeah. Oh, so. do you actually get minus points if it goes if it's less than a certain? If it, it's below yeah, average, I yes. Meant to, right. I put intelligence as fifteen and wisdom as eight, and I meant to put it as the other way around, but I right. guess it's two right like now. <laughs> yeah, I'm Valkyrie. Roll for the two characters real fast, because this might get really bad really fast with these so many fails. What do you oh, mean? No. It, it's a good time. <laughs> It's not fail, it's potential. So it's just wisdom checks? Yeah, wisdom saving throw for this this thing. I was oh my. Okay, mm. everyone who got below a fifteen. Up ahead, you see what looks like to be a very fresh and welcoming camp, and you feel very compelled to sit by that fire. Like you feel like I wanna rest. Oh my While god, the rest of you... Origins. Yes, for, in a way, but it's something worse. <laughs> And I, the rest well, of you, you guys help. see an abandoned bloody camp with dead bodies around it. What a lovely cozy camp! Here, let's take a rest. Agree. This seems like a wonderful <laughs> time to take a rest. I, I can't think of anything more pressing. 
He's so far. Yeah. Uh, I want. Uh, I want to point like out that, that Andarin has a plus five to his wisdom, and I rolled a nat one, which is an auto fail for a wisdom saving throw. My verbal disclaimer once again. Oh, this is great. As I update this real fast, so Ren, you you see, you see Sadali rolled. Sadali, yeah, everyone but you just clomp around this fire like transfixed, completely ignoring the very obvious signs of death. And you're like, what the heck is going on? What are you guys doing? Come and join us, Ren. It's lovely. No. <laughs> Why are you being so boring? Come and sit by the campfire. The butterfly. Okay, the listen, Mr. Child Wrangler. Do you like children, dude? Join us, Ren. Come and join us by the fire. <laughs> it's so warm and nice. Ren. Sit by the fire. Ren. Okay, I need, I need to pull something up real fast to double check something, but. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Ren, I will say, as you're sitting by this fire, I gotta update this real fast, crap. But uh, as you're sitting by this fire, you notice underneath uh, the trees above them, there seems to be these really... These really strange spiky vines starting to come down from the branches and are, are, are preparing to grab one of them. And I have to decide which one that is real fast. <laughs> I hope it's Dolly. That'd be dope. I mean, He's humble the child. I mean, I could save this object, but yes, you do see this happening. You, you can't learn it more something, and then we'll see what happens from there. And I'm just going to do world about to help me decide who who gets gets a surprise. I'm going to put it here. Yeah, I love it, surprises. So. <laughs> well, you might not like this one, so choose Lucian. Choose. Dolly, Rin, Frey, and I probably spelled these rings wrong, but that's okay. Who's it gonna choose? I uh, you want it underscore, right, not dash. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Use all of them. All of them get the surprise. Yes. I would, but I would, but I already committed to choosing one for now. Just yeah. <laughs> Right. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, so let me double check what this does. Do, 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 do. Ren, I need you to give me. What's the DC for this crap? If you mean me. Throw. We're all yes, gonna Ren. die. A what Ren's saving the first throw? One to get A what saving throw? A strength saving throw because it's oh. mine suddenly grappling, grappling. You are currently about to wrap around your neck. <sighs> Would that be worst. a disadvantage? I'm choking you. <laughs> I lived. Yes, you. Okay, so you, the vines start to grab you. You start to choke, but then you manage to pull yourself free, and you're now free from the um, spell. And you now see that there are these vines hanging from these trees, and the process is about to grab everyone else. So you guys have one chance to try to break everyone free from this real fast before I say roll initiative. Um. <laughs> okay. Wait, what are we rolling for? Um, Ren and Finn got a chance to try to snap you guys out of it. I'm gonna have them role play it out, then I'll give you guys one more chance to do a wisdom saving throw real fast. Can... The ones who are still, still stuck. Can I? Okay, so um, plant growth. Can I use that in a reverse sort of way? With these, you can try. I can't guarantee it's gonna work. I'm gonna try. See, so do you have to roll anything for that? I don't know. I'm gonna see. So I'm gonna take a look. With you. So I'm gonna see you try, and they react, but not in the way you want. They seem to get actually very mad. No, they live. So I'm gonna have it choose one more thing real fast because that was your action. And Rin, are you gonna try to? You're now again. You you snapped out of, and you're now aware that this is a trap. And you can try to snap out any of your companions zoned out <laughs> by this fire. Still, I make an intimidation check. You can on what the the plant. 
uh, on our friends. You can you, you can do whatever you want. You want to slap them awake. You want to shake them awake. You just do some sort of action, and I'll tell them to do a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Get so to Dolly. Get to Dolly, yes. and I'll try to wake them awake. I'm going to use thunderclap. I, I, I feel like I have an idea, but okay. Would that even affect Sadali since she can't no. hear? That's why I no, said she can't Sadali. Okay, I guess I, I'm I, just gonna do it and start shaking. Let me Sadali? check something here. Yes. So then you're 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 trying to step out Sadali and you're trying to use everyone else's thunderclap, so everyone then do um a, what one more wisdom saving throw. Otherwise this is gonna happen. It's a constitution saving throw. Oh, constitution? Okay, constitution. Yeah. Good, good to know. Well, Sadali has to make a wisdom one because she can't hear it. I have to make a wisdom one? Because you can't hear that any other person is going to try to shake no, you out of it by normal means. You cannot have a pancake. <laughs> well, that, Lucien definitely hears that. Cat. Because... That's a bug. <laughs> okay, so they both hear that then because they failed the constitution thing. So oh my. It, it, you hear a really loud sound and it really hurts your ears and it does snap you out though. Do I take when damage? Or... Uh, I, I, yeah, you do. But it Sorry, I feel the only thing I can think of. How much do I take? Hang on, hang on. She has to roll the damage. Oh, okay. I'm sorry! Get a one. Yeah, no, I told you get a one, not a five. The only time you roll high. Sorry. <laughs> what level are you guys at? Think of? The level five. Um, so that's two d six damage actually. Mm -hmm. Yep, spells damage increases by one d six when you reach this level. <laughs> Sorry. It's the ultimate wake up slap. This better be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be under a spell being choked by vines or What vines? You keep going on about vines. There aren't any vines. There's just this nice cozy fire. Stop causing so much drama and sit down. Really? Another five, so you get ten damage. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I love you guys. Ow! So Dolly, unfortunately, is still under the thing because she failed her wisdom saving throw, but you guys can probably snap her out of it real fast. But at this point, yeah, you hear a very loud noise, it really hurts your ears. You're like, what are you doing? And that's when you finally discover you're surrounded by death and these vines trying to choke you guys. Well, Finn's like, hello! Just politely so, slap her. Yes. Me? <laughs> I'll choke you. I just, just ignore the fact I'm stuffing my face with pancakes. Play. Is it gonna play? But at this point, I will say at this point, you're gonna probably have to roll initiative because these plants are among you guys and still trying to grab you. I like that sounds. one of the vines on the map just says Sin Vine. <laughs> yes, Assassin Vine or Assassin Vine, yes. I will. <laughs> Oh yes, I see you talking about. Yes, it's a sin vine. <laughs> but yes, and all of you guys roll, 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 roll d20, and on um, your character, it will say initiative, the little plus to a number, and you add that to it. I have no initiative. I'm just like, I don't want to do this anymore, the poor plants. Where These do I find do initiative? Not care. It's not in like the big lifter skills, it's like right under It's like, right next to your armor class. Next to your armor class. Ah yes. I'm gonna roll for these vines real fast. I started out with really good rolls and I'm ending with really bad. They go not get any bonuses with their initiative at least, so that was number one, that one did that. Roll that next one. D that one also got a bad roll. It's pretty good so far. Roll D20. I'll also be right back. I need to go to the bathroom. That's fine. It gives me time to finish rolling for the vines. Wow. Two of them rolled ones and one of them rolled a five. The other one rolled a one. They are just, yeah. Give me see. You see everyone's initiative roll. So. 
Frey. Okay. So Frey got a 14, you said, Valkyrie? Yep. And it looks like Frey tied with Joseph, so we'll have to do a tiebreaker. Okay, um, Joseph, what's your dexterity, the dexterity score? My dexterity score is, uh, it says plus four. What's, um, Frey's Valkyries? Plus seven. Okay, Frey goes first, followed by Lucian. Oh no, hang on. Sorry, my plus four is a saving throw modifier <laughs> for dexterity, whereas, okay, what? uh, along the top it says plus one. What, okay, what's well, the difference then, between Frey. those? Basically, what basically when you guys tie with a um, initiative, basically whoever has the higher dexterity goes first because it means they're technically quote unquote faster than you. Yeah, yeah. I just meant like along, al along the top of the character sheet, I've got plus one for strength, plus one for dexterity, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then oh, underneath that, right. I have saving throws plus one, plus four, plus they're like different yeah, pluses. Yeah, the plus the saving throws, the ones those are the ones you're proficient in have a bigger boost because that's what your class provides. Right. Okay. And that would be like, say, if something grapples you and you want to try to escape, and I'll be like, okay, roll strength saving throw. Got it, got it, Or if you're about to fall, okay. I'll be like, okay, roll dexterity. Yeah. Cool. So that's Frey, and Lu Lu Frey, then Lucian, and then Assassin. I'm just going to call it AV, so I'm not typing the same thing over and over again. AV I'm goes back. next. Welcome back. <laughs> Double checking, make sure. So that actually goes first. Okay. Good thing. <laughs> Dally. And to Frey everyone it applies to, make sure you wrote down your damage. Yes. Dally. Here's thunderous damage. Can I also take thunder damage? Yes. Yes. His home does. Um, who, who, who? The, the spellcaster? I don't think so. The spellcaster does not. Spellcaster is the only one of you. I'm not a spellcaster. Then Ryan was a spellcaster. You were in within range, so yeah, it's everyone within that range usually. Anyone in the range that failed the Constitution saving throw? And now that way it was a four two, I would say. But yeah, let me see. <laughs> yeah, it didn't hit um, Sadala so because you know she can't hear it. Just double checking. <laughs> no, it's a. Per I would think like no, you have to be able to hear it. Question mark. Yeah, it would hurt her if it was force damage, but this is noise based. Yeah, so you you have no idea what what was even heard. Okay, sorry. I'm just sorry, Jiggle. I'm just double checking my list she's checking her list checking her list everyone dies because of that song do 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 okay so Endril I think is Endril where are you where are you okay so that's good so then that's Endril I keep wanting to call him Endril I don't know why then A V two A V a, B, C. <laughs> Sorry, this always takes a little bit of a while for me. Maybe four. So I believe that's correct. I think that's correct. That's the initiative order. Oh, boy. <laughs> so this is the order that we take turns to fight. For battles, yes. Okay, right. so to make this easier, too, so the picture loads faster, I'm going to crop this real fast and rename this a battle. Picture that Where's way this picture. Where's Brian? Must actually. What is this friend not up there? No. I thought I put right up there. Mm. What, what, what was your What was your roll? Four. Four. Okay, that means one vine goes before you. Okay, thank you for reminding me. You're welcome. There. <laughs> you can You can blame Ben. <laughs> Yay. Our names are too similar. <laughs> I know. If you need to, you can call <laughs> your an heir. Okay. Found nice. that. Okay, so while this is uploading, Frey goes first, so Valkyrie, I'll just tell us what what, what Frey is gonna do. Alright, so rem remind me, um, is she seated? Is she... She is she's the purple one, and she was seated. Because she also failed. Everyone but Fen will be technically sitting down. Or are probably in the start press of getting up. Alright. So she is going to... <laughs> Let's see. She's going to pull out her short sword and just slash at the nearest vine. Okay, the nearest vine for her would be Assassin Vine 2, technically. Okay. So I rolled to hit that vine. Do, 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 do. 
Dear God, I'm and so sorry. Had... The dice just don't like you, apparently. From the shock really? of everything that happened, she overjudged her swing and managed to miss the the non-moving vine. <laughs> just whoosh between the gaps of the vines. Amazing work. As a bonus action, she's going to say a bad word in her language. And I don't know what language that is, but that's all is, I can think of. Is she a ranger? Different. Is she a ranger? Um, yes. I think she gets two attacks then. So she can attack one more time. Does she get a second attack if she had to use her movement to stand up? Um, if, yeah, if you check check her actions and attacks, it should mention if she gets two attacks. I, I'm pretty sure she does. Because it mentioned at level five, right, you, rangers usually get two attacks. Yeah, they get two attacks, uh, so... Yeah, if their action is to attack, then they get attacked twice, so she gets one more chance to slash at it. Beauty, I would go ahead and take that without question. Okay, uh, that's much that, better. That one definitely hits! So after her bonus action of saying a bad word, she swipes again, and then she will do some damage. Do the damage! Oh, doggo, no. Doggo, doggo, please. Thanks. Billy. You no. want to play? No. She heard a bump outside. She's like, Ugh, alert. Mm. Call 911. Bless. Assassin vines. Cool, so seven points of slashing damage. Okay. You slice at one of the little vines. It hurts. Ow. Okay, after that, it is Lucian's turn. Right. What does Lucian want to do? Um, yeah, you now vines... are very aware that there are vines of death trying to choke you. Can the vines hear? <laughs> what? I'm wondering. <laughs> I'm just considering vicious mockery. Well, considering that they're, they're sentient, I would say yes. Right. I mean, if you can talk to plants, they have to be able to hear you somehow, right? In that case, yeah. I would like to use vicious mockery. Go for it. <laughs> What, what is the uh, DC for your vicious mockery? Uh, wisdom 15. <laughs> okay, and... Oh, what happened? I don't... He fell too often. What does it say on there? Sorry, what? Read to spell that? out... Yeah, like, what, what, if they fail their DC, what happens to them? Um, you unleash a string of... It must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or take 1d4 psychic damage and have disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes. Okay, which vine are you mocking? Oh, and the spell's damage increases by 1d4 when you reach 5th level, so it's 2d4. Oh, okay. Okay, so, yeah, who who are you mocking? I very much expect you to roleplay this out. <laughs> uh, which, which vine? Is there a vine specifically attacking me? Um, the one that was above you would have been vine 3. It's right behind you, trying to grab your neck, and, and you are not okay. Right, okay, I'm going for that one. Okay, so... Hold oh, on, you're a thing. rubbish vine, and you're a rubbish shade of green. I really think you're rubbish, <laughs> and you're really quite mean. Why don't you leave me alone, you nasty spiky vine? Um, if you yeah, get me round the neck, I'll shout for the divines. <laughs> okay, it rolls. The divines hesitate and are very confused. What <laughs> just? happened. It, it rolled a 13. So yes, roll your damage and they have disadvantage now on you. <laughs> you know, some people talk to their plants to help them grow. This is not yeah. that case. <laughs> Sometime the later this vine's gonna come back and be like, he called me ugly. <laughs> <laughs> He's very taken. If, if, uh, if you could tell if a vine's feelings have been hurt and it looks very confused, th th that's indeed this vine. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens now? Is that... Um, you got to roll 2d4. Oh, I've got, I've got to roll 2d4. Right, um, sorry, I was just sitting there doing nothing, waiting for you to come up to, um... <laughs> okay, five damage. Not only did you hurt its feelings, you, you, you hurt its body. Such is the power of my music. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pin this initiative order, so I'll, I'll have to constantly scroll up. Oh, I can't pin it. So, if someone who has mod powers could pin the initiative order, that would be awesome. Sure thing. Anyways, it is Sadali's turn. Okay. <laughs> um. 
there's the updated battle map up there. I'm going to... Wait, where, where is Sedali? Oh, oh, okay, you're under Assassin Vine 1, that's why I can't see you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pull up my sword and I'm gonna swipe at it. Okay, roll the hit. <laughs> Damn thing, oh my god, that is. Did, um, just, sorry, I need to catch up on a couple things. Did Sedali, um, come out of her trance? Yes, um, I said that they did it right before the end. Perfect. And did you add your plus to hit, Sedali? Um, no, I didn't. What do I add? Okay, um, what weapon are you using? My short sword. Okay, hold on. Um, if you go to your character sheet and click actions or attacks, it will show you by your equipped weapon what you add to it. Let me see, for... Oh, I don't actually uh, have it bow. equipped. I have my short bow equipped. Yeah. Well, so I, I would imagine... One? Well, to be fair, I imagine you would have your, um, short sword equipped, but you, you would, um... I'm guessing you would add a plus three to it. Alright. Well, Can short I use my bow finessable? instead, since that one has better? Sure. All right. I don't. I don't know if this matters. Short swords are finessable, so she can't add her decks if that's higher. Oh. Oh. Okay. Then you got a plus seven. Dear God. Okay. E so yeah. Doesn't so doesn't matter because um, it's the same either way. Yeah. So if you have a plus seven to your uh, six, there you hit the the uh, vines. They only have a, a a DC of. I mean, a AC of ten. Yeah. Yeah. You hit them. The, 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 they're plants. They don't move. <laughs> When they do, it's like danger you. hugs. Danger oh, wait. Hugs. Uh, I just rolled again, so are you gonna use the first one? E either one would hit, because it was above a 10. Alright. So roll your damage. Ah. Just, uh, d20, <laughs> do I add anything to it? Oh, for your damage? Um, yeah. If your damage is a d6... Plus, plus your 4, because finesse, so yeah. d6 plus 4. Eight. Nice. Pretty good. And you were attacking assassin, the one on top of you, I'm guessing, Assassin Vine 1, just to make sure? Yeah. Whichever one's oh. on top of me. <laughs> Everyone's just on top of you. Mosh pit! <laughs> okay, okay, and after Sedali, your turn. Fen! Your turn. Alrighty. I'm gonna attack. <laughs> Uh, assassin gonna... line, I guess, four? Okay, I'm gonna re-upload this map just so it stays at the bottom of the, uh, chat, just so people just constantly scroll up. So yeah, roll the hit. <sighs> you just hit. Alrighty. Nope, wait, I did the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> I certainly rolled down before rolling a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would be concerning if you if you rolled a hit was only a D eight. There we go. That's much better. You you still definitely hit. Do you um do you just wanna use the damage that I rolled on? Is that what you usually um, is your damage usually a D eight? Yeah, or well, it's D six, but I get plus two because I do. I only have one weapon. Then roll D six. Then you roll D six <coughs> plus whatever you. Okay. <coughs> oh, he's coughing. Dude, oh, oh my god! I I did it correctly already. I confused myself. It's okay. This is half of you for this is your guys' first battle for half of you, so yeah, it's okay. Yes. Just confused myself. Okay. Like, I know what I'm doing. So, uh, did that. that was some pretty decent damage on it, actually. You managed to cut right. one of the little, little vines off. Yes, yes, you do. Because of your class, I believe, yeah. Oh, if you're doing a second attack from your class, you gotta roll to hit it still. It's two separate. Dead. Yeah. But we can accept that damage. Oh, That's not damage. That's a d20 and she rolled in at one. Oh. 
Yeah, you uh, you stab the tree behind the vine instead Ooh. of the vine itself. It basically did this, right. this, this scene of this movie, it's vines out of the way, like, whoop, and you hit the tree. It's kind of comedic. I'm still a child. <laughs> yeah, you're still a child when you do this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's Assassin Vines 1's turn, and it's going to retaliate on Sadali, so let me double check what it can do. <laughs> it's going to do Constrict, attempt to Constrict her at least, so I'm going to roll to see if it hits, roll the 20 plus this. Sadali, what's your armor class? Um. Oh, good lord, what did my cat do? Yeah, I'll double- Okay, it says on here your armor class is a 14, so it just missed yeah. you. Okay. So you managed to duck out of the way of the vine, then that's its turn. So then it is... Andreon's turn. So what does he do to Valkyrie? That's a great question. Let me see. Um... He's probably wondering what did he get himself into. <laughs> yeah. It's like by the divines or he's a paladin. That's all I've got. I don't know their personalities. I don't want to botch them horribly. Um, he has has a long sword, so he'll get up and strike the nearest vine. That would be hold on. One of the vines are covering the other vine's name. That would be assassin vine four, I believe. Yes, because he's pink. So four or one, your choice. Um, let's go with. Number one. Okay, you hit, so roll your damage. Cool. Three, Three points of damage. Three is better than zero. This is true. And now it is number two's turn. Hmm. Who's gonna attack? It's behind. Well, it was, it was, it's behind Frey, so it's gonna try to grab Frey. So, it can try. It can try! Frey, what is your armor Ow, class, don't by bite the way? Me. Frey's oh, yeah. AC yeah. Is... yeah, what's her? Yeah. Where is her AC? Oh, 16. 16. Oh, bit missed also. Everyone's just dodging the vines, like, no. She's too slippery. Okay, so that one fails, which means it is then Ren's turn. Ren, it's finally your turn. Yay! Um, I'm going to cast <laughs> Fairy Fire. Okay, who are you casting it on? Um, it is an area of effect, so all the vines oh. need to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, what's the DC? 15. They get no bonuses in their dexterity throw, so this this should be great. Good. I'll be impressed if they manage to. <laughs> Number one managed to succeed its saving throw. It just basically raised its vines up like no. So I guess it takes half damage that one. No, it does not get outlined. That's just the only thing. Okay. So that one succeeded. Deep roll. Number two. My cat is biting me. Plus... I will stop. Make a Number saving throw, watcher. Awesome. Uh, anyone who any of the vines that fails is going to be outlined in a blue light, and any attack roll <laughs> against them is at advantage. Sweet. Okay. Number three also fails. So all of them but one have failed. Yay! So two, three, and four have failed, and they, yeah, those ones can be hit with advantage. Awesome. So now it's the rest of the vine's turn all at once. Isn't that lovely? So number three, it on is it has feelings very much. It has feelings very much hurt by Lucy. It's going to attempt to attack, but now, I, from my understanding, it's disadvantage. So. That's going to be special. Lucy, and your DC is, uh, I mean, armor class is a uh, 12, I, mean, I believe, yeah, right? 12. So I'm going to roll twice, and I'll take the lower number. 
both managed. Okay, my lowest number was a 14, so despite you hurting his feelings, it's still mad just to grab you. <laughs> yes. yes so you. And you're gonna take 2d6 bludgeoning damage from the thorns, from the vines in general. And I'm gonna allow, allow you to attempt a strength. A, um, Strength saving throw to try to escape the grapple real fast. Hang on, so first I have to roll 2d6? Oh no, you, I roll 2d6 for damage. You roll a d20 plus your strength to try to break free from the grapple, because it's grappling your neck at the moment. <laughs> it's giving you a polite neck hug. But, but, totally. <laughs> but nothing to be mad. Okay, hold on. What did you get? I, I'm not looking at the moment because I'm double checking the damage for. Valkyrie, what did he roll? Can you tell me real fast? Oh, I rolled 10. Well, 9 plus 1. 10? Okay, what is the DC for this? Nope, nope, you're, you're still trapped. <laughs> and you take 13 damage. Oh boy. Oh, Ow. help! Help! Yeah. Oh no! Somewhere in another continent, a dragonborn is like getting little ringing bells in their head. <laughs> they don't know why. <laughs> okay, and after that is number four's turn. Where's Inigo and... when you need him? <laughs> it's going to try to reach out to grab Andrin. What's Andrin's DC? I mean, AC. Well, I keep wanting to say DC. Jeez. Valkyrie, what's Andrin's? Easy. Yes, what's Sorry. his D AC? AC is 19. He misses. It got, it got 12. <laughs> it just <laughs> hits his armor. Useless trying thing. to hug his chainmail and he's unmoved. Yes. I might end up deeping unintentionally. Okay. If that happens, Sedali will we'll control your character during the battle. Don't, don't you worry. You'll make all the wisest <coughs> choices. We promise. Okay, so now it's back to Frey's, Frey's turn. She sees that Lucian's choking. <laughs> Frey is gonna go protect the Lucian. Or at least attempt to. So she'll yes. attack whatever one is strangling him and do two yeah, attacks? I, yeah, the way I'm going to do it is if a vine is grabbing someone, if it gets attacked, is forced to let go of whoever is grabbing. So that's how I'm going to do this. I think that makes sense, at least to me. Yes. Uh, a little help spell. over here! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, please do, because if it, if he's caught with Silas turn, he's going to get poison damage, and that's bad. Okay, okay yeah, you hit it. So that's... <sighs> Two attacks, did they both hit? Yes, both do hit, I believe. Yep, 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 they both do. Wonderful. <laughs> so... so the vine releases me. Yes. <gasps> you can breathe again. <laughs> I can breathe clearly now. The vine is gone. First attack. <laughs> Second attack. Okay, let me just double check the damage. It is, it is looking really rough. It looks unwell. Release the cinnamon roll. It has released him and looks like it's not doing too good, so it's starting to get low on health. So a fun thing for any newer players, if a DM ever says that the thing you're fighting is bloodied, it means it is less than half health. Yes. Surely it be, should be sort of sapped. <laughs> In this case, it's kind of withered, a couple vines falling off it. Yeah. Bloody so now bloody it is... Bad. Yeah, so Lucian, it is your turn. Marvelous. Um, so the one that's looking like it's low on health. That was the one that attacked you. Yeah, which Number I three. now hold a particular grudge against. Yes, um, that was very rude. I would like to hit it as hard as I possibly can with my sword. <laughs> okay, roll a d20 and it's a rapier, correct? Uh, yes, it is. So then you add your dexterity instead of strength, and it's a finesse weapon. Well, that doesn't really help. Um... <laughs> D20 plus whatever your finesse is, yeah. So this is not a saving throw, this is just an ordinary throw. It's, it's, it's regular attack. If you click on your character's actions on their sheet, it will tell you with your which item you're holding what to add to hit. Right, hang on, okay. So I'm holding a rapier, and yes. it says hit slash DC is plus four. Then you roll a D mm -hmm. D20 and you add plus four. All right, and I'm back. I have damage, to go reset one... my Wi-Fi. Oh, I see. So I do yes. d20 plus four, and then if it hits, yes. I then do the damage roll. 
Cool. Yes, that's exactly what you roll. Yes, exactly oh, no, I forgot to roll it. RD20 plus four. Okay. What are you doing, Okay, Joseph? so I had to go reset my Wi-Fi, and my parents okay. also told me that I need to be done advantage. by one. Okay, so if you have to leave before this is over, then we'll control your character during a fight. So yep. no I've got to go in the next 13 minutes anyway, so... Because okay, I so have to yeah. after this battle. Is this okay. Vine 1? Say what? He's attacking Vine. He's attacking Vine 3. That's the one that hurt advantage. him. Advantage. Advantage, yeah. You get advantage on those. It's a roll so again. It's a roll again. Another d20 plus 4. Who me? Mr. Joseph. Yes. Hang on, yeah, sorry. Yes. Yes, yes, be yes because that one had the um, Fae Farm. Yep, that one hits. So roll damage. Woo! <laughs> oh, so now, yes, roll damage, right, okay. Sorry. Yes, Just roll getting the grips with this. Uh, oh no, it's okay. Uh, D8 plus one. Nine! That was Max just damage. enough. That was just enough to kill it. It had nine health. <laughs> <laughs> Score so one you, for Team Lucian. You cut it up <laughs> the little bit. Take that, and that, and that, and that, yeah. and that, yep, and a bit of that. You made a vine toss salad on the ground. I'm going to make it disappear. Yeah, I meant what I said. You're a rubbish vine, and you were rubbish. <laughs> it looks like, okay. it looks like it, what, what little self-confidence it had just disappeared as you killed it. <laughs> you have shamed Divine to death. <laughs> Good job. Let me update the map. <laughs> that was great. I love that Joseph's first single <laughs> in D&D ever <laughs> is him mocking and slashing at a plant over and over and over. <laughs> A true diplomat. So, so whoever has um, editing powers, I think you do, Velk, if you can erase Vine 3 from the initiative thing, that would be awesome. Oh, yeah, sure. Cool. On it. Or yeah, whoever can do it. So that means that's Sadali's turn. So, Velka, you want to control Sadal? Is, is Watcher still here I'm or no? I'm here. Okay, I thought you were here. So, yeah, it's your turn. Um. Vine 3 so, has Did been... Lucian kill the same vine that I was fighting? No, he didn't. Okay. No, okay. Um, you're top vine ones above you. Editing powers aren't so... a thing. I can't edit your message, so I'll just repost it with a with uh, AV3 missing. All right. So, I'm going <laughs> to it again. Okay. Roll the hit. Uh, that's a 10. Um and I add my constitution onto the Um, no, you add your- what- if you're, you are using your bow or, or your dexterity, short sword? I mean. Yeah, short dexterity. Sword. Yeah, dexterity. You hit, you definitely hit. Okay. Um, what do I add- what am I supposed to add to the roll again? You add a d6 plus your dexterity. Okay. Okay, and that Don't one is advantage. starting. Yep. Oh, that one doesn't get advantage. Remember that one okay. that succeeded. Oh, gosh. Yep, that one is also starting. Man. That one's also starting to look unwell. Okay, so that one's done. That means it's Phoenix turn. Okie dokie! Um. So, you saw I Lucian won't... had destroyed Vine 3 and you noticed Vine 1 is starting to look in rough shape. I'm gonna go for the four, number 4 again. The one I hit before. Go for it. Roll the hit. Okay. Hey, what was it again? Say what? With advantage. Oh. Yeah. My advantage. Okay. <laughs> yep, roll one more time because you never know. You might get in at 20 with the one for the advantage. Oh, there you boy. go. Okay, so yep, roll damage. Big hit. You definitely hit the immobile plant. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that one's now looking very rough also. Go again. Uh, 
I don't know why I keep doing that. There we go. Yeah, you get advantage with the roll, so we'll roll one more time. Okay. The most rolls ever. Yes. Yes, because of the amazing spell that was Ooh. cast on it. Yeah. Okay, well, you the first one, hey, take the height, you take the higher roll, so you still hit, so roll damage. Damage. Alrighty. D8. Who knows, you might kill it, because it looks really bad shape now. Well, you, yeah, you, you did five over his remaining health. It is very dead. You, you cut it up into several bits also. Hey, more vine salad. More vine salad on the ground. I'm gonna delete that one. We need to get that update the list of that gone too. So vine Veggie core tells. is <laughs> Veggie Tales a horror movie. <laughs> awesome, thank you, Joseph. No worries. Do, 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 do. Okay. So that update this map real fast with the two dead plants in it. And now after that, it is plant one's turn. It's going to once again try to attack Sadali because it's right there and it keeps hitting her. I mean, just hit, it keeps hitting her. She keeps hitting it and it's offended. Blah! Gosh, you can't talk. D. Wonder. Plus six. Oh, I got a nat 20. Oh, no. That means you get double damage from the vines. That's not ideal. So. No, it's not. It, it, it really hurts. You basically feel these thorns embed itself into your neck. Oh, oh. F. How much damage do I take? I'm going to roll that right now, and I'm going to have to double the damage. If you kill Sadali, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> so ten it's okay. Plus. We can do saving throws and stuff for you, death. Alright, there's saving throws, and I will be giving you guys options to try to bring her back, so I'm just double checking. Yeah, potions. <laughs> Um, so let's see that I suppose that plus four of that, so that would have been 40. You take 28 damage. Oh god. That's a what lot of damage. 28 minus 33. 20 minus 33. I think that's five. Or am I wrong? I think that's five. So this thing is almost killed. You basically it's it's grabbed your it's grabs its Vines around your neck very tightly. You feel the thorns embedding into your throat, and you are visibly choking right now. Like you, it's really hurting you. And, you, and your friends can or companions or can tell you are very much struggling. You can do a strength saving throw to try to get free from the grapple. Um, I'll do that. <laughs> the ultimate danger. Oh, I got a nat 20. Wow. Yeah, you, you were just like, to heck with that or to oblivion with that, and you eat it out of there like, no! And you're you're coughing very badly from that whole experience. <laughs> so you got free, but you're very much hurt. Oh. It, it was very rude what it did to you. Can, can I take a yeah. healing potion? Oh, wait, it's not my turn yet, is it? No, it's not. And it's Adrian's turn. The paladin. All right. What will the paladin do? That Which... moment when a salad almost kills you. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't eat it. Meat only. Just kidding. Okay. Enderin, what does he have for things? Um, Enderin will just go ahead. I'm oh, sorry. Trying to figure out where everything is. Ow. He does not have any healing magic, as far as I can see. Ah, uh, I was probably thinking to the character then. <laughs> yeah. I think he had- originally I remember Endrin's, um, the player magic, he was going to take a healing potion, but he never added it to his inventory, so he, <laughs> oh. there is that. But I, I do remember her actually audibly saying, Endrin takes one healing potion. Um, he does have a Lay on Hands ability, so... That works too. He will go to... Sadali, who just took a ton of damage, and he'll put a hand on your shoulder, say a blessing, and you get back 25 HP. All right. So, so you're at Thank 30 you. HP now. You feel a lot better. You look a lot better. Just and now I owe you my life. 
sorry. Just to let you guys yes, know, we've got to we've got to end in the next three or four minutes. Um, okay, that's so. fine. It's Assassin Vine's two's turn, real fast. And after this, I'm going to probably say you guys are probably kill these things real easily. So roll. It's going to try to attack Frey. Plus. D20 plus six. It hits her. Do D. Roll D2 D6 plus four. She takes 11 damage. Have her roll to see if she gets out real fast. Valkyrie, same, same throw. For a free? <laughs> yeah, for free. Um, con saving throw? No, strength saving throw because she's trying I'm to break through the grapple. That's fine. Cool, cool. Uh -huh. Then after this, we can also just retcon. They probably destroy these vines because both these vines are looking rough at this point. I'm not against that if you aren't. Nope. As long as I can heal Lucian. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. I'll be she's, fine. She's, you, know, as you feel, feel like a little bit of trauma. Okay. Just a little bit of trauma if you're really being choked to death. So she's still stuck. It's Ren's turn. What's Ren going to do? I'm going to heal Lucian. Cool. I'm using healing word at the second level. Okay, on who? Lucian or? Yeah, Lucian. Okay. Oh uh, my gosh. Hush, Lucy, I understand. <laughs> You're still a child, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna heal <laughs> you. I'm still I completely <laughs> cannot type, oh my god. Just copy ah. and paste that and add it and add the L. It's okay. I, I am. Really? Yeah. Really? She after this. Yeah. Are we still be children. I don't that. mind only lasts an hour. Yeah. She. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So she'll after this battle, they'll probably fade from being a child. But yeah. Heal Lucian and Valkyrie. Are you opposed to me retconning, saying realistically with? How much time there is left, and how many of them are left, and how low health these things, two things had that they, they won the battle, just to make things easy. Yeah, I'd say the vines just kind of start shambling away. They don't want to be insulted either. Yeah, and at this point, they're kind of like, uh, yeah, goodbye, and you see these vines just suck back up in a tree, like, Whoop! You're like, uh-uh. Yeah, and don't come back! <laughs> <laughs> I fought dandelions tougher than you! <laughs> you hear slight ruffling of bushes on if you're kind of offended by that, but other than that, they don't do anything else to you. <laughs> and we all level up. Like a rat now. Yes, yeah. uh, yes, um, yes, at this point the camp would be considered safe despite the fact that there's a bunch of dead stuff here, and when we get back to doing this, I'll let you guys roleplay to look around it, but we don't have time, obviously, for that. Yeah. Okay. I see dead things. Yes, but there we go. You, right you, then. You defeated, you defeated plants. Are you didn't fight a werebears. I was anticipating a werebear fight. That was amazing. <laughs> well, you know, I live to serve. That was great, though. It's like, no, we're, we're, we're going to parlay with the bears, but then we're almost going to get killed by the plants. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> how it works. Okay, then, guys. I'm really going to have to dash. Um, so yes. I'm just yeah, going to wrap up the stream. Too. You guys feel free to continue chatting in the voice chat or whatever. Um, but, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, Shiva and Valkyrie, so much for organizing this again. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to set something up for next weekend uh, to continue the story. Um Yeah, we'll have a little chat about that in the in the Discord and see what the best way to move forward will be. Um, but yes, hopefully we can do something next weekend. Uh, so yeah, thank you all. It's been really great fun. I'm really loving my D&D experience so far and I can't wait to, uh, to see where it goes next. Um, so thanks everyone. Bye-bye.